everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple luminary. Mine is going to be Pokemon themed. Um, I found these green lights at Big Lots when the Halloween stuff was I think like 70% or something. They were five dollars originally but I think I paid a dollar for them. Um, so what you're going to need for this project is a set of LED lights. Um, and you, if you can't find these at Big Lots, Dollar Tree has them. Um, they have multicolored ones, and I think they have some plain colored ones, or where the string is all one color. And I've also seen them at Walmart for about four or five dollars. You'll also need a container for your luminary. I'm just going to use this mason jar that I found at the 99 cent store. You can cut off a two liter soda bottle, water bottle, um, anything clear will work. And I've also made one using a dollar store vase, like just the plain cylinder vase. But I thought this would be cute to use today, so I'm going to use it. And then a paper trimmer is not necessary. Um, I just like to use it because it cuts the paper faster. If you want to use a blade, or scissors and some tape and then you're also going to need two printouts of your picture. I just searched for Ivysaur silhouette and found this picture and they're the exact same size and shape and you can use any picture. I would recommend using a silhouette type picture like this or anything that's black and white, but the more details you have, the longer it's going to take you to cut out. So keep that in mind when you're looking for an image. And then the last thing that you're going to need is a piece of drawing paper. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take one of your pictures and I'm just going to cut it down into the basic shape. Now I'm just going to cut around the shape.
so there we have it and you are not going to keep the printed piece you're just going to keep this white piece and now I'm just going to measure the glass from like the smooth part from here to here and cut the paper to size because right now it's too long so So you're just going to go over printed and you're going to glue this piece that you cut out right on top of it. Now we're just going to let it dry for a few minutes. So now that our glue is a little more dry, we can attach the paper to our container. I'm just going to be super fancy and use tape. I'm making sure it's on the smooth side. And then I'm just going to tape where the wording is on the jar. Also, if you're using a plastic container, make sure you get the LED lights so they don't melt your container. And there you go. That's all there is to it. As you can see, the parts that you cut out, the white parts that you cut out are, are where the light is going to be shining through. So obviously if you get something a little more detailed, you're going to have more light shining through. And if your yours has more pieces, um, mine was just one solid black piece. But I think it looks really cute. And I hope you enjoy making these. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Obviously, it's going to look better in a darker area. But I hope that you have fun making these. <laughs>